Okay, so uh, Aries, I feel like through this Gemini energy, you were able to make peace with mortality and and understand uh, some things that you still want to do. And I feel like there's a lot of treasures being uh, wanting to be revealed here. Now we're going into Cancer. Okay, so yeah, the treasures within you. Full intimacy. Ooh. Okay, so I feel like this is your desire here. Okay, Aries. Okay. Uh, Aries Cancer. Okay, so I feel like you would like to be able to open up to vulnerability to experience full intimacy here. Whereas in the Gemini uh, combo, it was like um, wanting to kind of... Uh, do your own thing and venture out and maybe communicate and try new creative outlets. Okay. Here, uh, with the cancer energy coming in, it's very emotional and watery. Okay. And, um, okay. So I feel like this is a lot of Aries. Learn everything from nothing. Started from, uh, you know, zero. All right. And, um, then achieved a lot and still achieving because it's the motion upward here. Okay, so... Um, so, the suggestion here is enroll in a judo class. But I think what that mean is, means is... Is suggesting is that... Do things uh, that will help you feel more empowered with... Uh, coming together with people. Okay, and... Um, and that practice every day um, will help you um, be that uh, defender of yourself, the um, cheerleader for yourself. Okay, so, um, right, so include yourself in you know whatever class that you've created you know if you've you've had like a structure um revisit that and uh put yourself up um with the greats leo ideal romance John Cocteau, the story only seems one-sided. There's no such thing as a happy ending. Find your future in the past. Ideal romance. Okay, so... Some of you may not believe in romance, but I feel like somewhere in the in in your circle there is that hope. <laughs> okay, and you do have uh, an idealized version of romance if you haven't ex experienced it. Okay. Now, Okay, if you do decide to go into a romance, let's say with a Leo, for example, um, you have to be able to do equal give and take, okay? So, um, and you also have to have faith that it can get better and better, right? Okay, now, you know, some people just will grow out of a relationship and that happens right and the key is to keep trying and uh, I feel like if you look into your past there are some elements that you would like to bring into the future also okay so watch out for your own biases and that way um I feel like you can come together with another fiery nature uh, partner um, by being open-minded. I'll leave you with that on that. Let's go to the next. Virgo. Virgo. 
the warrior of love. Okay, the other day we were talking about soldier of love, and uh, that was Aquarius, and now we're on the warrior of love. <laughs> okay, Leonardo da Vinci. I'm not a renaissance man. I'm a renaissance man. <laughs> Dissect what makes us human. Look into research like you would a crystal ball. Okay, so this is the thing. You know, whoever your love interest is, let's say, um, you know, this could be a family person too, Virgo. Okay, the thing is, every body is an open vessel. So what a person was today may not necessarily be what a person is tomorrow. Okay, so... Any person can take the I am statement and, and become that the next day, okay? Um, but usually it takes some time, right? It takes many segments, okay? But that possibility is there. So if you think in that term, in those terms, then you understand that uh, anything is possible, Okay, including uh, um, a warrior lover. <laughs> okay, so, um, you know, maybe you have a family member that has had a lot of battles and um, has become a warrior, okay, and is an, on a mission for love, okay, and uh, that expression, okay. Okay, so it's just like looking into a, a crystal ball, right? When you gaze one day, it may not be the same the next day. It's kind of like that. Okay, so um, what is that saying? It's like that movie, 50 Dates, right? She didn't have a memory, so every day was a different day. And um, he approached her like it was a new experience every day. So in that way, lovers can be pure approaching each other every day instead of holding past resentments and jealousy and, uh, you know, um, selfishness and things like that. Uh, pulling for that energy, right? Okay, so I'll leave you with that. Let's just go on to the next one. Libra. Eros and Thanatos. Your soul is composed of the same dots a, a, as the universe. Distinguish yourself from your mirror image. Show them your hallucinations. Okay. You know, um, humans can think all kinds of things, right? Okay, so what I'm picking up here is very fascinating. Okay, so there's like dark matter, right? And what we call shadow. In art, it's like that too. When we tint things, we put the white or the, you know, kind of more shiny uh, things on to tint an energy. Okay, so then it becomes, uh, you know, its own creation, as you say as you would say. Okay, so other thing I'm picking up here is trying to find balance with the the um, fire energy from within. And I don't know, okay, so Okay, for some of you, I feel like it's seeing other people fail at relationships is causing you not to want to go towards people, right? It's like the saying, uh, how, how many people do you know and how many uh, people have actually had success in a marriage, right? Okay. I don't know if she's married or not, but I'm getting a single feeling here too in this, this part. And there's nothing that says anything about single. Okay. So, oh, let's read this real quick.
seeing love. Must all good things come to an end? Must we always dance this dance? Thanatos, death is ultimately victorious. He claims Eros, the love of this world. Everything ultimately belongs to the angel of death. But when the love of this world is slain, is there an even greater force that remains? Beyond the mind, beyond the body, beyond all the love stories and the sounds, the spirit remains forever. And our true love is found. These forces are not opposition. They are one. We are one. Okay, so find forever in your love. You have your whole life ahead of you. Go forth and live it out. Achieve your quest. All along, was it just a return to boundless love? And then this is the love meditation. Thanatos standing before you. Envision him consuming all you know. Does love still remain when earthly consciousness is lost? Is eternal love real? Okay. So that's the question, right? Is eternal love real? I would say yes. <laughs> okay. Everything is love. I am love. Love is forever beyond the shadow of time. Okay. I think this is important right now as a collective, right? It's showing your true face. I was looking at the um, the uh, Will uh, Will Smith videos. Is that his last name? <laughs> okay, and um, and he was trying to you know exercise and everything, and he was really trying to show. Uh, his authentic side, but I feel like that's everyone in the collective. I feel like they're, we're moving towards that. So, um, you know, showing, be, being more open to show, you know, the many facets of you, right? Since the last one was talking about diamonds and I feel like that's the connection there. Okay. Let's see how we doing here. Okay. Keep going. Scorpio Aries. Okay. A loving gaze. Le Corbusier. Theory makes perfect. Pras practice makes problems. Sign your name in concrete. Go big and go home. <laughs> Okay. All right. So, uh, some of some of you all are literally shooting for the stars, right? Like a star on Hollywood's uh, Walk of Fame. Okay. So, a loving gaze here. Okay. So, yeah, I feel like uh, the the Scorpio um, aspect of you is maybe more silent. But um, <laughs> for some of you, this is actually side eye, <laughs> and it may not be a loving gaze, um, but um, I'm getting here both, right? A loving gaze, expression through the eyes and the emotions, right? Um, but also, um, it's like that come hither flute music that um, somehow your, your eyes can call people. Okay. And, um, you know, anything is possible. So, you know, here it's saying go big. All right. So whatever you create, I feel like spirit is creating an even bigger version of that. Okay. So, um, because, you know, they're the ones who's keeping, keeping tabs <laughs> on all the things that you desire through, you know, through, you may not even be aware of that they're taking notes of, you know, sometimes you might be driving and you think a certain thing and you didn't really think anything of it, but spirit took note of it. And then there it was in your reality, you know, for you to enjoy. Okay. So it's something like that. 
and um, so and I would the mirror energy is what I, I get so looking in the mirror and actually giving yourself a loving gaze would be uplifting here All right, so here we are on Sagittarius. Soft whispers. Don't live to 94 without founding an art movement. The practical should also be art. Does your geometry lack poetry? Okay, so what I'm picking up for here for some people is they're suggesting uh, like clothing with your phrases and, you know, your little, um, uh, what are, you know, there's things that you've, you say that nobody else says. Maybe making shirts or something creative having to do with that, right? Okay, or your love sayings or your beliefs and somehow making something creative out of that. Okay. I feel like the, the message here is you are the art, right? You are the creator. So um, you are the poet. Okay, so... Um, Okay, so I feel like what's going on here with with um, is like I feel like this would actually be a really good connection, Aries and Sagittarius. Okay, um, some astrologers might be screaming. <laughs> I don't know, but I I'm, today here at this point, I'm picking up that it would be a good connection. Okay, and. Um, and uh, the key is to listen more, right, in this union. The key is to listen more because I feel like um, actually the Sagittarius would probably be listen more, but for Aries not to dominate the conversation and actually listen to the soft whisperings of Sagittarius. And you could do that through meditation or just getting quiet. Okay. And I'll leave you with that. Capricorn. Memories and remembrance. This is kind of that same thing that came up before in, an, in the other sign was like bringing the past into the future. So if you're going to go to the past, right, bring in those elements that you want to recreate. Okay, so um, why? Okay, so they're bringing up Will Smith again. Okay, so like when he was writing the book okay so um you know it's like when you go to the past and you're thinking about those things that were um uh, not so they brought fruit later on but they were not so um pleasant um you know that can have you in your field so the key is and that with the capricorn energy here could cause you to that could be um escapism and that could cause you to go into these things that you wouldn't normally try or go into. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're escaping, then that can become a problem too. Okay, so it's like having a pointed focus to where you're looking in the past and what you want to focus on to bring into the future. Okay. Okay. Aquarius. Joy and jubilation. Woo! Okay. 
Sophie Colley. Oh, this came out in your reading. Put on a good show for the surveillance cameras. Distance makes a heart break stronger. Invade neighboring states of privacy. Okay, so let me look at this card. This is interesting. Yeah, the key is, if this is what happened to you, get out of that energy and focus on the joy and the jubilation. Okay, so let's read that. The joy of love is exciting and jubilant. The lovers felt in their hearts and danced to the rhythm. Cherubs and nymphs joined them in their jubilation. Their hearts raced. They moved into intensity and drama of love's pace. It was time for the lovers to celebrate. Okay, so making love. Love is so good sometimes it makes you want to dance. Allow your spirit to be free. Free your mind and your body will follow. Have a dance party dedicated to the exciting feeling of love. Dance with friends, a lover, or swing it solo. Either way, it's time to let joy and passion take hold. Okay, so I did that when I was when I went on my little trip, business trip that I had to go on, um, put on some old time music and had a ball. Okay, all right. Uh, meditation. Take moment to meditate on a love that moves you physically, mentally, and spiritually. Proclaiming love. Affirmation. I feel the excitement and jubilation of love energy rejuvenating and enriching my life. All right, so let's go on to Pisces. Taking the plunge. <laughs> okay, design your days. Don't plan them. Okay, so I feel like Whatever you're doing, it's working in its perfection. Okay. So, and be open to spontaneity. Okay. With this Pisces energy. Okay. Um, here it says aspire to profound practicality, which is interesting because uh, Neptune is in retrograde and that retrograde energy is like that grounding that dream world into this reality. And that's here in the card. That's interesting. <laughs> anyway, it says Charles and Ray Ames. Okay. Be unbending in your flexibility. Oh, okay. So when it comes to your creation, be firm, right? And I feel like you do that, Aries. So I don't feel like that's... Um, but see, there's that thing, though. If you're swimming in the Pisces energy, uh, that might be like, um, you know... Not standing firm on your creation. Okay, so I leave you with that. Okay, so that's all the signs... How much time do we have? Okay, so let's look into... Let's just pull in a new reality. What's showing up? Highest potential. Okay. Okay, so the key is to, uh, you know, we all have things that we ha that get in our minds, and then um, the key is to free yourself from that every day. Find ways to get out of your head and move in love. Okay. So you've got Queen of Cups, Hierophant, and Two of Cups. Okay, so um, there is that potential for union showing up when they're all over with solo cards. Okay, so 
The key is to think positive here, okay? You got nine of swords. Purification and protection. Okay, so I feel like that's why that, um, you know, the, the, um, the death card uh, showed up was because in that art card was because there is a kind of a releasing and purifying and starting new, right? Okay, and releasing those things in the mind that um, take up space but don't produce... Uh, the positive. Okay, so I leave you with that. Queen of Cups, higher front, and Two of Cups. Wow. A lot of Aries are already here. Okay, so um, I feel like this is a potential. If you want it, it's yours to grab. I leave you with that, Aries. <laughs>